Kevin Pritchard and all the way up and down have done a tremendous job putting together a team. Chris, I looked at the game again the other night with, with Philadelphia. I'm telling you, this Pacer team plays with pace in an interesting way. And Wagner and the Magic run. Blocked by Walker. Pacers go for a foul. Home, who's at Oklahoma City, and I and, and Holmgren is seven feet and went to Gonzaga, and he can play. Walker just couldn't get things done, and then from there, when it piles up on you, do you give into it? And that's what the Pacers are learning about some people. Jarris Walker missed it, got it from McConnell. And down. Pacers have trailed by as many as 40. This is the 12th time in franchise history to trail by as many as 40. And the second time this year, here's Walker again. Again, Gary Harris playing his 18th career game against Indiana. Nine of those were in Denver, and in all of those games, he was in double figures as the rookie, Jairus Walker, hits the three. Burst or energy uh, tonight. No, they haven't had it all night. Basket and a foul, Jairus Walker. So at this point, you play it out. You try to see can you find a way to, to, to get a, uh, a good run in here. I give a lot of credit when sellout crowd tonight, Jackson dunks it. To him and is to him to give back to this community. You'll continue to see more from Tyrese Halliburton out and about in the community, but a great event on Thursday. It, it really was a great event, and that's Jess Walker just said still. Average 11 points and eight assists. He shot 79% against Orlando, and he's five of nine tonight. One of the bright spots shooting the basketball. Chased down by Jackson. And then Walker throws it away. Margin will not look as dominant as Orlando was today. Again, they improved to eight and five. They vault over the Pacers into a top four spot early in the year in the Eastern Conference.